and should be enough to put her fears to rest. To the stars! Awesome. So, finally flip the telescope. There's our second of seven secrets. In, there's just a fire arrow and a sunburst device, neither of which I actually need, but I wanted credit for the secret. I'll close that up. Put the crates back more or less the way they were when I got here. And head right back down. And we need to get back up those stairs. Same way we came to here to the Sheminov estate in the first place. One interesting continuity bit. Way back in Thief Gold, Break from Crags Cleft Prison. I'm going to take that first alert. I just don't see a good way around it. It's possible to slide all the way down here. Oh. What's that? Well, no, it's not. <clears throat> My mistake. What was that? Let me get through all my different steps. <sighs> so, <clears throat> uh, I think I do need to convince Garrett to attach to the ladder. <clears throat> we don't need to put out the fire. That's what we don't need to do. So we're now in the Sheminov estate. And like I was saying, you only need to come down here for pickpockets. If you don't care about those, you could ignore this place entirely. Is that you, Kevil? Ah. I think we can do that wood landing and only first alert her. What's that? That's strange. We could have sworn something was there. There we go. <laughs> She'll first alert on our way out of the fireplace, too. Was that there? I saw something. So we cross this room. There's some reading material here. P. We have to stop meeting at the Alchemist. This is the third time that woman has come by to press her nose against the glass. I don't know whether she's ogling Grimad or just wants a love potion from old Jack, but she but it's giving me the shivers. Can you do anything about it? N. Remember, I think it was back in Blackmail, there was that note that said they were sure that the Alchemist's shop was a front for something. There's a cool bit of continuity. And like I was saying, the Sheminov estate, that's another cool bit of continuity from way back in Thief Gold. Break from Crags Cleft Prison, the Hammerite and the Novice, my famous 10-hour video, they talked about how Terius, one of the hammers, bought his new knife from the Sheminovs, not their smiths, and it broke at supper, and he was ashamed or whatever. Anyway, apparently the Sheminoff are craftsmen who make crummy knives. I must be getting sleepy. Huh? So, we can we can get in and out of here without putting out any torches or using any moss arrows. But better be But she will she will first alert. So. Ah! Oh, is is someone over there? No good way around it. That's just a first alert. There's food in here if you're interested in such things. I'm gonna be a little more careful with my exit. I'm gonna wait until I hear him get back or get close to me, and then. Hello. Hmm. <coughs> Nothing there. Mm, who was that there? I saw something. All right, who's making the rocket? Okay, let's wait a little bit longer. Someone there. Way back before they released Thief 2, an alpha version of this sleepy. level called The Unwelcome Guest was released as the Thief 2 demo. Just in case you were wondering or had played the demo and noticed the similarities. So now, once you've heard him leave, you can run up these stairs, follow him. And there are plenty of places to hide in here, which is good. I think this is a, the best place to sort of camp and wait for him when he's on his way back. Grab his arrows. That's our tenth of 24 pickpockets. One last thing to do out up here. Just mantle up here. You're going to get first alerts from the guy across the way. 
no way around it. But it's pretty easy to... Hello? It's pretty easy to move silently all the way down to his balcony. Come out where I can see you. If... Garrett cooperates. Let's just do it stepwise. I get impatient. Which is just a stupid thing to do in this game. Nab his arrows. Now we could go ahead and cut across to Angel Watch, but there's plenty more to do here. Out here in the city. Those air will get into the trade bank a different way. For our purposes, we're going to backtrack all the way through the Sheminovs, past the Rothschilds, to the Necromancer's Spire and tackle that next. So that archer was our 11th of 24 pickpockets. <coughs> Once he comes back, and follow him most of the way through. Give him some time to get away from the door. It's not a perfect shadow, but you can wait in this corner for him to go back through the door. Then we just sneak back through the kitchen, pop out the way we came, head all the way to the Necromancer Spire. I love the little continuity bits between the two games. Ah! Oh, is, is someone over there? And within each game as well. Like I said, I don't think any of these first alerts are avoidable, but if you don't care about pickpockets, you can skip this area altogether. Hello? Hmm. Nothing there. <clears throat> Just have to be careful of the fire. Now this... It's just pretty much about timing, but... It's not too hard to get to this shadow. The swordsman just has to be away. Similarly, it's not too hard to get across. Because you can just jump and mantle. Well, I, I say that like it's easy. It should be easy. But... Garrett's almost never willing to mantle. Not again. <sighs> Guess it's nothing now. <sighs> Who's noising about that? I've just... It's bad, y'all. I have really stopped caring about first alerts. What's that? Who's noising about then? I do wish Garrett could land quietly, though. Okay, good. Up the ladder. Clear of the Shamanovs. Good. It's a great time for a real save. Now I just head right back past the Rothschilds again. Who's making those noises? Alright, well that's that's a completely unnecessary first <coughs> alert, so I'll do what I can to avoid it. Need to get over this. Best thing to do is just jump right into this dirt because it's a completely quiet surface. You see there the necromancer's spire, so we need to get to that edge silently, and then hop in through the window will bring us to the top floor. First things first, you can't really see it, but just activate the fireplace. 
That's the third of seven secrets. I'll show you what it opened when we get there. I'm going to call the elevator up. Next, we need to get these two candlesticks, bring our total to 856, and then save before you do this, because you don't actually want to. But... Aglorus Coranth, Caglimorex Thelorum Asu Enlian Bomror Ven Aglor, Kalu Fendith, Kalu Kalid, Akilno, Akilno Cleas, Po Walnarus Vior, Siglia Bulanis Friopic, Ruful in Gorax, Hakanan Bixisantu Geolux Planfanth, or Huyeres Feroth, Firtun Thelunith. And what we're reading is the Book of Ash. I can't read any of this little text, but you see a human body here. And you see the four elemental symbols from the talismans back in Thief Gold. Fire, water, air, and earth. You might also remember in the mission, the Mage Towers, there was discussion of the Book of Ash. And a man named, a mage named Azaron, who had taken an unhealthy interest in it and who was exiled from the Hand Brotherhood. This is his tower, his spire in Dayport. It was mentioned back in the Mage Towers, and here we are. Now, if you read the Book of Ash, you get a nasty surprise. Uh. Zombies! So, we'll reload. We won't read the Book of Ash. Because <laughs> we are not equipped to handle zombies. So, roll down here. Here on the second floor, or the third floor, rather, there's a passage to the apartments, which we'll end up taking. Other than that, it's pretty empty, but there's a book here. Hit that. That's our fourth of seven secrets, and it opened the passage to the lower floors. So first, we need to send the elevator up, and then we need to get on the lower one. Want to be careful to slide. Send it down. Now you gotta be careful because this second floor is made of metal. I didn't slide well that time. And if you do one of those big metal landings, the guards will almost certainly hear you. We've made it to the second floor. We've done so quietly. As we move over here, there's a speed potion and a healing potion. And this little plate right here is what opened when we uh, hit the fireplace secret up on the third floor. So open the chest, get some coins. They bring our total to 956. And let's read this. Whosoever finds this note, I bid thee farewell, for I no longer dwell in your domain of fetid flesh. My essence is now forever preserved in the plane of earth, beyond the reaches of fear and fire. I owe my transcendence to the Book of Ash, that tome of legend I recovered so long ago from the sands of long-forgotten kings. Within its pages lie the secrets of life, death, and undeath. The hand forbade its study, for it drove so many into madness, but I have succeeded where others have failed. But be warned, the truth is hidden from the unworthy. Blacken thy heart, or face the prisoners of flesh. Azaron the Cruel. We'll put that back where we found it. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to need two invisibility potions to perfect thief the mission. We really only need one. You can ghost the mission without it, but it involves a supreme bust anyway, and it also involves a nine-hour wait. I'm not fans of either. So, silently drop down to the ground level in this freaky torture room. Grab the invisibility potion, because we'll need it later. Now, the only way out is to mantle atop the Iron Maiden, but that can be... Tough to do, to say the least. <laughs> there we go. I don't think anyone ever alerted to me. So, mantle back out of there. Now they can hear us on the second floor, so... 
with the invisibility potion in hand, head back up to the third floor. Reclose the passage to the bottom floor. Now, I like to bring the elevator down and reactivate the fireplace. Oh, Garrett. Okay, I had already closed that. I don't know that it actually accomplishes anything, but I enjoy doing it just the same. Once that's done, head back down to the third floor. This elevator started on the third floor, so we can leave it there. And with the necromancer spire cleared hop over into the apartments. First, grab a plate out of this hallway, brings the total to 1,006. Now we're gonna tackle the thieves. It's... the answer to them is easy, you just have to get the loot out of the apartment during their conversation. That might be a supreme bust, but it doesn't bust Ghost. Again, the whether or not it's actually a supreme bust is arguable. We just have to make our way past the guard. Although, I wish I could see where he was. I get the sense he might be stuck upstairs. Which would be... A, no, he's not stuck. Good. The thief's conversation is funny, so I'm going to try and listen to the whole thing. Obviously, you can't get this loot from outside or you will alert the thieves, you have to come in through here. But inside the apartment they're robbing, there's a ring on the dresser and some coins in the chest. We'll just grab both while they're talking and we should be able to avoid any alerts. What's Why? that? Oh, can't, can't get up to full speed. Quiet, you lumbering ox. You're making enough racket to wake the whole of Dayport. Well, it's dark, and I can't see what I'm lifting. What you'll see is the heft of my sword across your brow if you don't hurry things up. There's a guard in the building, and we're both skewered if he hears you. All right, all right. But I got me a question. Do we want the gold or the jewelry? We want whatever you can carry, you tougher. <clears throat> now hurry it along before we're seen. Or maybe you want to spend a lifetime or two in the Blue Coats company? The Blue Coats? Where? Oh, just hurry it up already. Well, well, housebreakers. How quaint. So that brings our total to 1131. <gasps> Those two pieces of loot, and then we can just follow the guard down. Who's there? Obviously have to be a little bit more patient than that. And once he's clear, he heads down to the bottom floor. Instead, we'll head out this window. Shh. What's going on? <gasps> oh, Garrett, 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 you kill me. So we're well within hearing range of the thieves, so be careful up here. Make sure, as much as he hates it, Garrett mantles. And then, just use a vine arrow to get back to what ought to be familiar territory. The top of this building. Now we're going to tackle Sir Cullen's Keep. I find the best way to do it is just... Who's there? Oh, who 
Who's seeing me? Oh. Seriously, who? There's no one around. Anyway, I like to head over the top of the tower and go in through the window. Oh, he was in this room. Okay. Grab that vase, which brings our total to 1231. I think if we wait here, we'll get a good opportunity to nab the arrows from that archer. I know he comes inside here at least, and I think maybe he goes all the way into the, the room where we got the base. I also think this is a perfect shadow. His arrows are our 12th of 24 pickpockets. That's half. Awesome. Once he's outside... Sir Cullen's keep is clear. And... We've switched maps. We're in the Dayport North District now. So, slip out the window while his back is turned and Make sure you slide down silently. Now this is the first place where we're gonna have to nudge. I know people hate nudging. It takes a while. But it's the only way to perfect thief the mission. There are a couple of water arrows in there as well as a fire arrow on the fireplace itself. If you're interested. You can cross that beam go over the Baron's Way to get to the greenhouse and to the armory if you're interested in getting the equipment in there but there's no loot. <laughs> now the designers meant for you to avoid this guard by breaking the window and going in through there but there are a couple of problems with that. Breaking the window is itself a ghost bust but the noise from it also puts both of these guys on high alert. Why would we do that when we can just nudge this guard instead? We just have to push him forward, get in behind him, and every time he fidgets, if we're right up against him, he'll move forward. So we just have to push him forward past the door. Which is a little time consuming, but it's really not that bad. And since you're on carpet, don't bother crouching. He'll move he'll actually move faster if you're standing up because you're I don't know, you're better interfering with this space. Obviously this nudge is also a supreme bust because it's an engine exploit. There's absolutely no way to get the coins in there in accordance with Supreme. You might be saying to yourselves, this mission is huge! We aren't even to the Mechanist Tower yet. <coughs> <coughs> to that I can only say, yep, this mission is huge. It's awesome. And also fun. It's not huge and irritating like Kidnap. I'm not looking forward to Kidnap. I hate that mission. But I digress. <coughs> Keep on pushing him forward. Actually, it doesn't take that long. Later. <laughs> Drinking. Taking a break.
break. Okay, I think we can get by him now, with just a first alert from open. Hmm. Someone there. Wonder what that noise was. Three gold coin stacks on this guy's table. Bring our total to 1306. There. Drinking. Taking a break. So with that done, I say awesome. Let's move on. It's now time to tackle the Dayport Traders Bank. It would be pointless to go to the armory now anyway, because the key to it is actually inside Angel Watch. Thankfully, the archer on the street doesn't have any arrows. If he did, that would be an impossible pickpocket, and it would really piss me off. So wait until you hear a patroller come in here and turn around. I think he's turning around now. So, just do the silent slide. Someone say something. That was not a silent slide, apparently. I'm not playing games. Oh. Need to wait just a bit. <sighs> mm. Someone say something. Hey, Garrett's just deflecting a little too far, and he's taking a step where I don't want him to. <coughs> There we go. Once you hear the door shut, you can make noise, which is good. You kind of want to move quickly. But all that we can do right now is camp here because we need to get the key off of that patroller in order to open the office. So as he passes by, just lift the key. I just heard a settle remark from a first alert. I have no idea where that was from. I never heard anyone first alert to me, did you? Unless it just took that long for the guy I nudged. To settle down. Must have been him. I mean, this mission is full of moments like that, so. Once he's gone, just open up the office. I like to lock it behind me. We need to open this wall panel, but our key does nothing for that, so we'll just have to pick it open. When that's done, hit the switch, and that opened the vault across the way from where we are. Oh yes, yeah, so I should read you the uh, scripture passage, sample from the new scripture of the Master Builder. 
The new scripture of the Master Builder, draft, page 3. And so Karis did set Quill to paper to record his accomplishments, the most important of humankind before him and certainly after, performed in the service of the Master Builder. And at that time none could know this scripture, and Karis could not read from it during his sermons, for he knew that humans, even his followers, in their weakness would not rejoice and celebrate as Karis had at the good news of the Builder's paradise. Because humans were flawed, they would fail to understand. It was only Karis who truly knew that humans were an invention of the Master Builder that they might invent the Builder's children to please him. In the soft whirring of the clean, oiled gears of the children around him, Karis heard the deafening roar of their approval. Note, I shall need to take pains in collecting these materials together again in my urgent press to capture events that pass and my thoughts on them. I have writ passages in many of my chambers, and at present I cannot return to collect them, nor shall I trust another to collect them for me. Now we need to get across the hall. Just wait until he's out of earshot. And then we can cross the tile without worrying about making noise. Mm -hmm. The second you open the door, you have to be quiet again. <clears throat> So read this first. Crimshaw, lock the receipts in the safe this time or you'll taste the lash. Though I can't prove it, I suspect one of the night watchmen of having sticky fingers. If not every penny is accounted for in the morning, it will come out of your backside. And another thing, Don Valencia will be by in the morning to pick up his diamonds. Make sure you log the transfer and extend every courtesy that we have available. Valencia is a client I do not want to lose. Tuttleshank. Oh, sucks to be you, Tuttleshank. You can get it back on the desk. And then, I like to get to this corner. Wait until... He's messing around out on the balcony right now. I like to just wait for him to... Come back through and get back in the... Long hallway segment of his patrol. Before I hit the vault. The vault has 13 total pieces of loot, four coin stacks, a purse, and eight tiny diamonds. They bring the total to 1633, which is enough to satisfy our loot objective. Awesome. So now I want to close the vault back and return the guy's key. So I'll wait till he's back out on the balcony. Ought to be where he's headed now. Once he's gone, get back into the office. Hit the switch to shut the balcony again. He came back faster this time. That's okay. <laughs> I can creep through, I don't mind. Lock that door, drop the key. Just creep across this hallway. Close the door behind you. Then get to this corner. Once he's out on the balcony, we want to head over there ourselves.
just get to this corner and then wait till he's back in the hallway. Oh, my dogs are killing me. Time to get a new pair of boots. What was that noise? Now out here you need to creep. <clears throat> no way to avoid these first alerts either. If you grab those arrows, that's your 14th of 24 pickpockets. Then you're just going to want to creep over here. You might recognize that spot. We were there a while ago. <sighs> now we finally have nowhere to go but north. <clears throat> so the trick to getting through here without triggering a second alert is speed. Just need to go fast. Sir, <sighs> you over there. You need to get over th You notice there was a time gap before Benny went into hunt mode. I see you there. You just need to get over there fast. That's the key. Hello. I see you there. And don't make any noise. Oh, that sucks. So now you hear them all nice and calm, which is what we want. Now, move quick here. Head up to the left. <sighs> Holy crap! That's a keeper! He disappeared! He left a note for us, though. Garrett, we hope the information we have provided you thus far has been useful. You do well to seek information at Angel Watch, but beware. All is not as it seems at the Mechanist Tower, and Karis is more aware of your actions than you may think. Still, there are ways to outwit him. Well, that was cryptic, as the Keepers usually are. But no worries. With all that found, hit this torch, and that's our fifth of seven secrets. Here's the second invisibility potion. We'll, unfortunately, we'll need both of them. This will only be a chemical success. But we will succeed at the ghost. So close that door behind us. We've busted Supreme 8,000 different ways already. I know there's no way to Supreme this mission. So, we head into Lady Louise's suite. It's, it's having trouble figuring out figuring it out, but that's where we are now. And <clears throat> two things to do. No need for alarm, ladies. Just passing through. Grab that vase. Brings our total to 1733. Yes? Anyone there? I'm gonna do a real save here. I'm gonna take their first alerts just for the sake of speed. Okay. We need to nudge Boy, both of them. This place is getting to me. Until they're not looking at the window anymore. Because <laughs> if we go through here right now, they will both light up like Christmas. <laughs> We also have to be careful not to completely stick either of them to any walls or doors or else they have a tendency to turn around, although it's more of a problem with the one in green than the one in red. Make sure you stick close and she'll move a little bit every time her idle animation cues. <coughs> oh, the air is getting so filthy lately. <coughs> 
See, sometimes she stands frustratingly still for a long time, and then she'll do three or four idle animations right in a row and move quite a bit. <laughs> Just no real rhyme or reason to it. I'm just going to stick her right behind that pillar. That's where I'm taking her. Then I can sneak around the outer edge of the room without being spotted by the woman in green. <coughs> woman in red's easier. I just have to push her into the far corner and then I can get out the window. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 